In this video, we're going to be multiplying two digit numbers by two digit numbers using long multiplication. Here is the number sentence, 42 times 12. It's really important to line the numbers up correctly. So we have the hundreds, the tens and the ones. 42 has four tens and two ones. 12 has one ten and two ones. So now that we're set up, we're ready to multiply. So first, we'll multiply 2 by 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Then we can multiply 2 by 4 tens. So 2 times 4 is 8. So now we need to multiply 1 ten by 2. As we're multiplying by the number 10, we need to put 0 as a placeholder in the ones column. So now we've got 0 as our placeholder, we can multiply 110 by 2. So 1 times 2 is 2. Then we can work out 110 multiplied by 4 tens. 1 times 4 is 4. The next step is to add the two answers together. So 4 add 0 is 4. 8 tens add 2 tens is 10 tens. We can carry the 10 tens over to the hundreds column to make 100. Then 4 hundreds add 100 is 5 hundreds. So the answer is 504. Let's have a look at another one. 33 multiplied by 24. 33 has 3 tens and 3 ones. 24 has two tens and four ones. So now that we're set up, we're ready to multiply. So first we multiply four by three. So four times three is 12. We can drop the one ten below in the tens column. Then we can multiply four by three tens. Four times three is 12, and then we need to add the extra one ten at the bottom, so it's 13. So now we need to multiply two tens by three. Remember we need to use zero as a placeholder in the ones column. So now that we have zero as our placeholder, we can multiply two tens by three. Two times three is six. Then we need to work out two tens multiplied by three tens. Two times three is six. The next step is to add the two answers together. 2 add 0 is 2. 3 tens add 6 tens is 9 tens. Then 100 add 600 equals 700. So the answer is 792. Let's have a look at one more. 46 multiplied by 52. 46 has 4 tens and 6 ones, and 52 has 5 tens and 2 ones. So now that we're set up, we're ready to multiply. So first we multiply 2 by 6. 2 times 6 is 12. We can drop the 1 ten below in the tens column. Then we can multiply 2 by 4 tens. 2 times 4 is 8, and then we need to add the extra 110 at the bottom, so it's 9. Now we need to multiply 5 tens by 6. Remember we need to use 0 as a placeholder in the ones column. So now that we have 0 as our placeholder, we can multiply 5 tens by 6. 5 times 6 is 30. We can drop the 3 below in the hundreds column. Then we need to work out 5 tens multiplied by 4 tens. 5 times 4 is 20, and we need to add the extra 3, so it's 23. The next step is to add the two answers together. 2 add 0 is 2. 9 add 0 is 9. Then we're left with 300. And then we're left with 2 thousands. So the answer is 2,392.